हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय केमिस्ट्री चैनल बी एल दास शॉर्ट एंड स्वीट इन केमिस्ट्री इफ नॉट सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल सो दैट यू कैन सी मोर वीडियोस रिगार्डिंग द चैप्टर नाउ दिस इज पार्ट वन हियर वी विल सी ऑर्गेनिक रिएक्शन मैकेनिज्म फॉर क्लास टेन सॉरी क्लास इलेवन दैट इज सी सिलेबस ऑर्गेनिक रिएक्शन मैकेनिज्म now you know if the reaction occurs the product is produced reactants they may, they combine each other in the presence of any reagent it gives product but how the products are formed what are the steps here involved one by one steps which are involved and that constitute that is the mechanism lastly you will get the product there may be several steps may be 2 3 4 steps here in reaction mechanism the steps are required here the steps are required and the e step is called intermediate step so it is easy to know the the reaction product if you know the mechanism then only you can understand how the reaction occurs what are the steps involved in the reaction mechanism now we will see this is part 1 where halogenation of alkane halogenation of alkane by the method free radical what is meant by halogenation of alkane halogenation of alkane mean you know what is alkane c n s 2 n plus C N S two N plus two. That means here, if alkene is there, then here halogenation. That means what is halogenation? Chlorine, bromine, iodine. If it is added, that is you see this method always proceeding by the free radical mechanism. Then what is free radical? You know. covalent bond is formed by the sharing of two electrons from one reactant and from other reactant if the covalent bond is formed and by homolysis by homolysis then what happen it gives each one having one electron but this electron is different before homolysis what is the covalent bond covalent bond already formed by sharing after homolysis it gives the each one having just like you can see uh, a let i want to write a b this is covalent bond now here if you proceeding homolysis homolysis then what happen each a contains one electron and b contains one electron that mean each one called free radical now example of uh, alkene you take methane methane is the first compound and the simplest compound where chlorine chlorination occurs adding chlorine and in presence of sunlight photon h new mean what sunlight it gives ch3cl and hcl it is easy to remember this will when react it gives that one but okay but we should know the steps of the reaction how the reaction occurs when the reaction occurs you will follow the steps of the reaction in steps of reaction uh, here first one is known as chain initiation steps what is chain initiation step the ccl bond you know chlorine is attached to methane means there is a bond ccl and there are other bonds ch 3 ch bonds are there ccl bond is also a covalent bond ch bond also a covalent bond but the no but now the question is ccl bond will break then how can we break or not ccl bond is weaker than ch and cc bond you should know the ccl bond is weaker than ch bond and also cc bond 
that means it is very weak why because chlorine is more electronegative than carbon chlorine is more electronegative than carbon that is why the bond can break if the bond can break then how the question is how the bond will break now chain initiation step what is mean chain initiation step the chlorine bond which is very weak and chlorine molecule is excited now chlorine ccl bond is very weak than ch bond and also very weak than cc bond and chlorine molecule is excited by absorbing photons of light now it is a property of chlorine that chlorine molecule is excited by the absorbing photons photon mean h nu after exciting what will happen here undergoes homolytic fission to produce chlorine free radical to produce free radical then see i told also if a b then what happen now it is cl cl having single covalent bond by two electron sharing takes place where and photon that is uh, applying sunlight is applying observer observing then what happen homolysis occurs then cl dot and cl dot now here in chemical bond it is sharing it occupies between two but after homolysis uh, chlorine occupies one electron that is not same philox same pre electron as before it is called radical pre radical free radical electron is very active it will react in different way are you clear chain initiation step mean first how the chain occurring takes place first it will produce uh, that is free radical after free radical what are the step chain propagation step that one is known as chain starting chain starting uh, uh, step starting that is initiation now it is propagation proceeding then how it will proceed chlorine free radical is active and attack the methane molecule because you are taking methane as an alkane as an alkane methane taken so as a abstract hydrogen atom now what we will do hydrogen is abstracted this hydrogen one of three uh, hydrogen is abstracted as product hcl remember what is the by product hcl but in other way it will produce methyl radical why it is called methyl radical but then there is a free electron present and so it is called methyl free radical methyl free radical reacts with other molecule of chlorine now it is so active it will react other molecule to form methyl chloride and chlorine free radical now i can see the methyl free radical is very active it will produce what uh, it is produced and very active and react with chlorine molecule and what happen it forms the product uh, that is ch3cl methyl chloride is the main product and the and uh, then chlorine free radical cl dot then what happen next you when chlorine chlorine free radical present before that also you have chlorine free radical in uh, propagation step also you are having chlorine free radical and so if the process a and b the now ch3 dot free radical react with chlorine molecule in presence of sunlight it gives methyl chloride as the main product and chlorine chlorine is the free radical present then if chlorine is free radical present then what happen again you know this is very active it can proceed to uh, produce different uh, the radical and now step a one b if you repeated again and again and producing cl dot as free radical and the reaction occurs uh, until there is there is no hydrogen atom conjunction of one free radical reaches in generation of another free radical now before that i told one chlorine um, dot uh, that is free radical produce but when react with methyl chloride it produce another free radical this process is going on going on generation of another free radical then what happen chain reaction produce 
so uh, here it is the propagation step starts the gel poly halogenated product because chlorine molecule hydrogen is replaced by chlorine molecule and producing a cl dot that is free uh, radical so like this the propagation takes place unless uh, uh, until where there is no hydrogen till now the reaction takes place and give the free radical and main product now here what happens if you see chain termination now uh, when you want to stop it want to stop the reaction that is called chain terminated that mean the chain now you does you not required that mean here you want to stop that is called chain terminated step end inverse combination of two radical how will end when it will give free molecule not free radical when it will give free molecule then the reaction going to stop let us cl dot c if when uh, chlorine free radical other chlorine free radical both are there it give cl2 similarly if ch3 dot cl dot then it also give ch3 cl that mean here also ch3 dot if methyl free radical present it also gives ch3 ch3 mean that is ethane ch3 bond ch3 mean ethane that mean free radical when the it will stop the reaction when they both combine it gives the molecule that is stable one first chain is initiated propagated then chain is terminated are you clear first chain is initiated by what by giving chlorine molecule under light photon that is undergoing homolysis and it produce chlorine free radical chlorine free radical combine it gives uh, that one ch3 free radical and so this reaction is going on the reaction is going on until you will get the stable product unless when you want to stop the reaction at that time only you call free radicals can combine and gives the main product and stop the reaction and now see what happened chlorine molecule and it is produced chlorine molecule how can you produce by a sharing of electron that is covalent bond and this covalent bond undergoing homolysis in the presence of sunlight photon then gives cl dot cl dot that mean these are called free radical this free radical and this covalent bond totally different now this free radical combine with methane it gives ch3 free radical methyl free radical and hcl remember it a reaction occurs only in presence of sunlight that is called photon now you can see the methyl radical active so it reacts with chlorine molecule it gives methyl chloride that is stable one it is stable compound and chlorine is very active one then what happen here you can get uh, the different product uh, main important product so here you will see continue of the reaction here you can see ch3cl and cl dot it how the reaction proceed up to last because methane has four hydrogen so until four hydrogen will be replaced by chlorine till the, the reaction continue continue then how ch3 cl cl dot the cl dot mean free radical it is the stable one what what is the stable one ch3 cl is the stable one so here it gives ch3 cl and cl dot cl dot is very active it react with ch3 cl again it gives the by what is the by product scl and what is remaining ch2 cl now this carbon is act as a free radical of the ch2 cl so it react with uh, continue up to uh, until the hydrogen two hydrogen react so what is the last one ccl3 it gives uh, with the molecule cl cl because ccl3 is free radical it will combine with chlorine molecule in presence of what in presence of sunlight everywhere you should write uh, in presence of sunlight otherwise it has no meaning so it gives ccl4 what is ccl4 that is free uh, that is carbon tetrachloride all free radicals combine because you want to stop the reaction chain terminated reaction 
so here chlorine molecule form which is stable here ch3cl is form which is stable and ch3 dot ch3 it gives ethane molecule now you can find chlorine ch3cl and ch3ch3 that mean here different type of stable product also produce so, uh, this is the last step last step mean chain terminated step i hope it is clear to you how the reaction mechanism occurs when halogenation of alkane proceeding now here subscribe my channel bl da sort and sweet in chemistry thanks for watching my video thanks again to all